Can I make size different? Oh well. No. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. I don't know if I want to customize. Very bad with people. Tomorrow. Um. But dumb as a rock. Might begin to lose his mind. Oh, do you do you need to see that? Yeah. I think I want to be- I kind of want to lose my mind, so. Let's do that. Whoever the fuck that is. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. I'm gonna and an know audience this. amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained Let's within go. it. Let's go! This is great. Yes, it is. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful. Me when I'm All on my period. You. All of me, real need. Questioning. Need the only lead to more awareness. I wanna meet thing. I need the meat thing. I need to there. go back. No ball of meat. Yeah. No light in the formless nothing. Just nice women. Off up Coming oblivion. right up, sir. Smooth passage. Alonzi. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Burra. There's. I'm tired of being this animal and who gives a. What? To the silence. You want me to upgrade that to a one way trip, sir? Sing me the sweet song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. Oh, yeah. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated I man feel so peaceful. around you. Stop! Stop bringing that up. Sensation. No, 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 no. We don't need to talk about that. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine. No conscious, oblivion. And undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Why? You can take it. Back girl. Oh. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop. I don't want to hear anything more about the sensation. Nothing. Stop. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly headache. Um. Pump my head off. Fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. Fuck. A clarion call from hell. I wonder if your skill says something based on the argument. Oh. I'm so to find stuff and I forget who I am right now. I don't remember that. Oh, I'm naked. Magnum sized bottle. Commodore Red, that's what they call my cock. Rolling on empty? Rolling on empty. Someone tore out the tape. Was that me? Uh, did I do that? 
This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Yeah, for real. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. You swoop up and catch the Let's tie. Let's go. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie. With four or five... Th a terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your... It's just a little oh. hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't oh. overreact. Right, little on. black spots dance on your retinas. It's almost pleasurable. Yeah, he is not like Willem Dafoe at all. Does not need to hide his cock. Take. What is that? A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped <laughs> half the faucet off. I hate when that happens. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, abort, you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Um. Touch it first. Yeah, I don't Behold. care. My face. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Um. I'm a superstar. It appears star. you're also dead. There's clearly written no, waters on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Because I'm a Please superstar. Stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. That's you what superstars do. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. I look good. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Um... Um, superstar. You should check yourself for a pulse, superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest um, reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. Okay, I'll let it be. I think. What is that? I would like my pants. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. Yeah, because I'm it a star. I'm number one. Yeah, what happened here? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Hmm. More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. It is right. too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. Larger and heavier. You're looking for something. Oh, my cock. Larger than your fist. 
Yeah, heavy and larger than my fist. That would be my cup. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Never mind, not my cup. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still... Gushes. The cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Do I just put... One shoe on? I just have one shoe on. I should probably go find my shoe. What was this? Okay, I'm leaving. God, I'm slow as fuck. Was that a door? Oh yeah, let me get my shoe. Is that my shoe? Yay! My shoe! Okay. I have shoes. I did f I found it. I this literally just found. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately yeah. snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Awesome. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. Yippee. Alright, back in. Hello, officer. 51. Hello. Yellow. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Uh, no. I'm not. There's okay. only one solution to this. You're a businessman. The young woman shakes her head slowly. Chief Technical no. Officer? You're a police officer. Sir, you're shitting me. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All this you've time? You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. Couldn't say. In what, truth, what so doing? far, mostly drinking. To know I want her? Um... Could it be yeah. because of the drinking? Um. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. That's so true. A glib remark. Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. A I have the right character. For contradictory yeah. statements. I'm a good one. Yeah, I figured out my shoe. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Okay. No, Jeez, I don't want to do it. Goodbye. I, I don't need cringe. I'm good. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up. My Who smoker? knows what you are? A monster. Oh yeah, I can't a smoke the filter. The gnome of Jeroma. You've how very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, is my body talking to me? Pack. The idea seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. I'm or joking. You could not do that. No one is making you. Wait, do what? I'm going to enthusiastically do that. They'll make you stronger and better. 
Yeah. You're too old to be cool now. But find yeah. cigarettes. Yeah. Smoke them. Blam. Cigarettes are cool. Instantly a cool renegade man. A mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. Yeah. Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. Yes. Cigarettes are cool. Can I go in here? The door is closed. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on. Oh. Somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Don't do the this to me. Is mute and indifferent. Okay. Your despair is a joke to it. I guess I'll leave. Oh, cigarettes? Satirical newspaper. Cigarettes are so cool. What do you mean? Where am I? Oh. Summer door. It's winter. Lyrics. Karaoke. Speaker. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. <laughs> People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard. So true. Through a PA system. No. By other people. Whether they like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. Yeah. I'm a superstar. Who is mistakenly identified I'm a star. as a permanent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. You what have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, oh. but it's out there. It'll come to you. Okay. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Yeah, I want to get the people no, going. No. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Oh, it's a task. Oh, brother, what did I do? Only the word Monday? Can I speak to you, sir? A man in his late twenties stands ugly. behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. Ew. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he is purposely ignoring you. Not looks like he's not a My. fan. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Oh. Well, it's giving me a task, but I, I can do it if I want to. Yes, you are. A real decorated hero. What did I do? What did you not do? First you took the body down, then you solved the murder, then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. No, you see, actually you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. Yeah, what have I done? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Hmm. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Yeah, what happened? Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? He pretends not to hear you. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. You look like and a that bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. She just, you know... There's something there, 
and it's not good. That's all you know for now. Okay. Okay. Union member. Hello, old lady. Hello, sweetie. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Okay. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault was launched chill. on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Oh, Get fuck. creative. Conceptualize. Should I try? No, I'm not very smart. Okay, then. No. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask oh, him for a rundown of the area. very happy. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? I have to. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Bruh. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? No. So, the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. <laughs> Real. Where it has been hanging for I, I guess days. that. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Um... I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Okay, well he doesn't really care about now. that. This thing is pulsating with discomfort. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. They won't have that. So cigarettes will have to do. Yeah, what if I told you I'm not we really? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer. He's so nice, what the fuck? What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. You're in the road. But okay. first, we have to take it down. Um, okay, let's After you, that. officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? You mean you don't have a badge? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Yeah, he's being way too goddamn nice Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Okay. We're partying, yay! Hello. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi <laughs> from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm in between names. Oh my god. 
I'm not going to keep going right. with that. I'm not no, going to keep going. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, yes. I only just uh, got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? Local derogatory. What, of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. What? It's your turn. Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Um. She went away because none of your business. Yeah, you're avoiding it. You're oh avoiding my it. God, what is your obsession with this Sylvie person? Get over it. Maybe it's he who's obsessed with yeah. this Sylvie person. Certainly sounds like it. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. What? Suddenly he tense up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Yeah, I'm hounding him. No, I didn't. You, you did it, you did it. I don't appreciate this. Yeah, why did you have what to kill do him? do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless. His expression <laughs> unreadable. I'm still going. Are you, an idiot? Oh my I god, I can't you. stop. I, I can't stop it. He ignores you. Okay. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. What? No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. Imagination. But... Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! Are you telling me to kill myself? No, don't listen to him. It's madness. Just talk. Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. The IIR, or Interisolary Real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. Wow, you're a genius. Yes, that's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! What exactly is what are money? You, a philosopher? I might be. Money is what grown up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or, or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Okay. There's a shuffle of nylon new. as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Damn. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... Damn. Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. I don't remember. Officer, you really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them. Ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. 
Good luck. It's crazy because I know just as much as my character does. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Why did you say that? Um... No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? A saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. One that is okay. impossible to climb back to. Okay, that that's doesn't something. sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Um... Hobo cop? That's cool, but try. I'm I'm gonna Run some try. addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a That's a that's a train of thought, that's good. A good thing, what is this? Oh, okay. Da, 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 da. I thought cap Oh Feminist Hobo cop <laughs> Oh my god are these all the thoughts I can unlock Wait what Oh. Oh. Is that my only train of thought right now? Okay. Fuck the police, real. Pigs go home. Oh, I want to talk to you. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? We don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. Okay. Of course. What can I help you with? Mm. Who are you? Me? I am just a gardener. Cool. I am working. I may or may not remember. Goddamn. I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. There's this I like her. She stops mid-sentence. Well, what? as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Don't worry, valid. we are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My... Of course. Where um. to? Corpse. It's there. In the yard, right through the hole in the fence. Okay, north. There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. Okay. The harbor gates, some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. Okay. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Okay. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there. And a fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. Rows of stalls under a broad roof, where silvery fish were heaped on newspapers. Water, water everywhere. Pouring from the heavens in the shadow of the old church. Uh... What kind of fish? I don't know. The abandoned kind? It used to gather every spring, but there's nothing to do there now. Just drug addicts. Okay. It's just water. Water? No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Okay. In the west is the miracle. Miracle? No problem. Excuse me? She's uncomfortable. Oh, Maybe you should drop this light. Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Of course. I won't hold you back. 
Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. Yeah, can I borrow that? Sure. Keep them. I have another pair. Oh, thank you. That was nice. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I kind of remember this. The frequency tableau lights up and a green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Okay. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Just a second, Officer. Oh. oh, I accidentally hit that, but I think that's what I was going to say. 10 2, 10 5. This is 41st. Uh, come in. Over. How are you French? A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. Why are they French? 10 what's your status? Over. It's not good. 10 18, 10 over. Yeah, talking. Take me. your message, sir. Over. Badge. 10 9, repeat message, over. Yeah, I can. 10 4, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. By French critical theory. Uh... 1022 the captain. This sounds bad. Bad and scary. Like well, I don't care. I'll get in trouble. It's fine. Master's office in school. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? This is communication officer Jules Pidieu, sir. Over. Oh my god, that is disgusting. You mean your partner? Over. What is he saying? <clears throat> He's asking who you are. I'm his goddamn partner. <laughs> your partner. I'm, I'm his goddamn partner. partner. Over. Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? Uh, who yes. Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? Dick Mullen. It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Oh. Dick Mullen is not your name. Okay, it's not it's my the name. name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Quebecois. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Um, He's asking you to stop. Says this is serious. It is serious. Of course it's serious. He lost his fucking badge. His fucking badge. The light officer Vitmar concurs. Losing your badge is serious. Over. Ten four. I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me, Mac. Come here. You've got to hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. What's going on? Super Carpe lost his badge. Say my name. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. He asked you to please stop saying he lost his badge. Why? Did he find it? I don't hear so laughter. Sergeant was wondering if you found your badge yet. Over. Um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. It's hard to think. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. 10 9, come again. I didn't get that. Over. Um. No heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun, too. 
Sergent Parson wants to know if you lost your gun to Prover. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? No. It's gone. It's not fucking... I don't have you. my gun. Don't sweat it, Bratan. You don't need a gun to have fun. We can still have fun. It's not all over. I don't have my gun. I have a taser. Then 9, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. No, I can't. Then 1, you're breaking up. 10, 9, repeat, please. Over. 10, 9, come in, officer. I have over. to? Come in, officer. 10, 9, repeat, message, please. Did you? Yeah. He says he doesn't have it. Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh, oh my, I'm I not can't. lying. I can't. <laughs> this I'm not very really clever. This is a matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, but this go in and him piss his pants. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ass. <laughs> he still got his wiener. <laughs> Ask him. <sighs> Sergeant Orson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Over. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. That'll make this all right. I love that his mom. Yes! That's a negative. I'm not going to say that. Over. Hell yeah. What's he saying? Share with the class. He, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. The prick ate mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. <laughs> Sure, her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Real. Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. I fucking got him. I now got him so good. Right. <clears throat> Sergeant Orson requests uh, that you apologize for the claims that uh, you made about his mother. You don't Over. fuck with the firewalker? I'm not gonna go he that He says he's sorry and he didn't mean nothing by it. Okay. Tell him. That is funny, Tell but I, I think I want to, like, not lose my mind yet. only thing that matters here. Satellite officer V. I think I'm good with them. Okay, I'm not. Effort affirmative. Officer is in pursuit of his firearm. Oh god, I. Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. Yeah, personal uh, details. Okay, 10 4, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. I need Be information. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. Ten four, sir. I'm not hearing Ooh. your question. Um. What? What is it? He's still on the line? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Revachoian Cavalry Force. Stop. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. That's a negative, sir. I got a 1012 here. Over. 104. Your address? Hold up, Jules. He doesn't fucking know where he lives. Did I hear that right? Yes. Seems like it, sir. No. Fuck him. Don't tell him anything. You understand? What? He's been hellbound for the gutter. Let him have it. Sorry, sir. Anything more I can do for you? Over. 10 9, repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Uh, what? What is I want to hear my name. What can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. 10. Um, excuse mm. me, sir. Over. You probably don't want to continue on this road. Come again, sir. I didn't get that. 10-9. Over. 10-4. Well, that's, uh... <laughs> Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on disrupting our work? He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCN. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Tell him to stop oh waiting. God. Sir, satellite officer says... So, um, was there anything else? Understood, sir. Over. Send for, I hear you. I don't have the authority to rent your request. What does he want now? He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? Is he fucking he is? kidding? I need don't money. Don't give that asshole anything. He's 
Just the right. Uh, That's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. Anything else, sir? Okay, bye. Roger that. 10 10. 18 kilometers to the south, in the 41st Precinct's relay booth, a small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules. Old boy. Oh my god, they're gonna kill them. Yay! The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter when Officer Judith Minnow enters. Her left arm is in bandages and her hair trimmed short. What Am I imagining this? Did something happen? What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. He's lost his badge and his sidearm. He seemed confused, delirious even. Mac, the torso Torson is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Ew. Chester McLean, near the entrance. That's nasty. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Finger-fucked. Yeah, Max right. This was some gnarly shit. Well, it's shit just like there. some of the talking I mean, sounds like not over the radio. Money. It was... So... Enough! None of this is funny. Like that doesn't Sad. sound. That's what it is. He's a cop. Like it so did one before. One of us could damn this. We must help him. Um. Yeah. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Is like the he's describing what they're Jogging doing. With him but in this the morning, is just over the radio. Get him on juice. He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Mag, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Oh. Those were his words. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain. Or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I guess I can hold up the report for Well, my character is bound to go insane, so I think... Um... Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all Cop got empathy. Oh, I'll so none of it. Work. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Awesome. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap. It's robust, weatherproof, and well-made. Police issue lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Cold Why would I not take all that? Heavy, like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its neck. The white suede feels luxurious under the touch. Thank and the you. metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. Oh. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next no, to the I is don't know what that is. Heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Alternative translation. Don't even think you can drive my MC. Um, I'm good. Oh, maybe. If he's a son's friend, I've maybe like... I've, if he's been on his stream, I'd probably recognize him. Ancient fact, there's a tree. Why do I spell tire like that? I am the law. From another planet. Hey there. It's the jam, my man. Yeah. Yeah. 
re-recorded for the final cut. Uh... It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Oh my god, it's given. uh. Workers Earl. on strike, scabs agitating, an all-around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days upon days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Extravagantly phrased. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. So wow. tell me, what do you need? Nope, don't smoke. Some of the other drivers do, though. There's still a few around. Oh, hell yeah. Waiting for the jam to disperse. Or waiting for the sweet release of death. Real. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that statement. Your senses have nothing to add. You left the ask around elsewhere. Oh, I'm dumb. You could also check the kiosk down the street. Frit. With three T's. Rebishaw's weird. I don't want to ask him for money. He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Hmm. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. Yeah, Some demanding? pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah, yes, from the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. I like this guy. To he's... Get drunk or high. He's like, so like... Yeah, I don't really understand politics, but I'm rocking with the unions. Not my thing. I'm rocking with the Jason the, the, the trans the homies. Like he's I just like a chill like guy that like doesn't really get it, but he's rocking with it. I like What's him. What's better than chasing transient pleasures? The more transient, the better. Don't be okay, a stranger. I'm done. I can go back to him. Cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. <laughs> Oh, I can go up and around? Humanox. That sounds like a Zelda mob. No one lives here anymore. Oh, I got a tank top. Let's fucking go. Take! Yes! Oh, that's all the money I need. A small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile oh. on her face. Oh, okay. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter. Some cigarettes and food money. Maybe no response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Okay. That's probably for the best. Yeah, I guess I can just do the point and click method. That might be better. That would be nice, nicer. Can I talk to you?
Yellow. Bastards! We have a right to work! Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Rights of people. Rights okay. of workers. To have gainful employment. To make a salary. And feed their families. Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here. Fuck the Shame politics. We have families to feed you, piece of shit. So do we, Scott. Call me Minyana. Have fun. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. Um. I know nothing about a murder. Okay. The mention of a killing sends a barely noticeable shiver of tenseness through me. Interesting. What are you talking about? I'm not tense. Yes, you are. Yes, he's tense. And dangerous. Somewhere below it all. Uh-oh. Right to work! It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. Why sure. not? I see numerous reasons not to pick a side in this local matter. Pity. Let us work! Oh. I can come back. I don't think I want to get out of here. I think I can come back. I was thinking something. Yeah, I'm sure. Was... Okay. Mmm, flower. I love roses and tulips. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles. How much money do I have? And blister packs. They all One dot the perfect. That's all I need. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. I like Saint her. Saint Batiste, you know, the pharmaceuticals company. Saint Batiste Pharmaceuticals, the one that sells meds out of Saint Batiste. That um, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, bro. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Duramine Can I rob places? Is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is... I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Uh-huh. Okay, bye, queen. I love you. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? You mean this? Two girls. Let's. F sh oh my God, Queen! Two girls kissing. This are is pop stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page thirty-four. This speaks to you. It's very futuristic. Tap on the girls kissing. <laughs> Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's oh. kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. I bet your hat would take the prize. Benita. She's a model. Usually it's a model. Or a singer-songwriter. Or a model. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but, um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so. 
Not really. Not really? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. I don't know really long. Um, I don't know. No need to worry. It's okay. just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, bye. What is fraught? I'm thinking. Yellow. Welcome to Ivashol. Don't you welcome to Ravashol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000-year-old... Oh, that was racist. Uh-oh. Uh ...while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Oh. Every school oh. of thought and government okay. has... I don't have one city, of those. But I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Revachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver. Oh, his name is... Okay, so he, his name is I know exactly racist. what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see... I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember <laughs> that. Silence. The air between your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Fucking ache him. You do make a cute couple. You know that? Yeah, he gagged him like hard. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Whatever you say. Officers. Gotta no. smoke. <laughs> right there, in his fucking hand. Snatch that shit out of his fat fingers. You need it after listening to his garbage. It's Who's my right? last one. Can I get a drag? Sorry, all done. Oh. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Hold on. Uh. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like... Come on, sheep. We found the proud Change boys. Change the topic. The way he says it makes it almost sound like a threat. Oh, so you're just a racist. Makes I'm sense. I'm not just racist. Look, <laughs> I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if uh, some people don't want to accept it. Nah, hold on. I need to... Oh my god. His ass went, I'm not racist, I'm a People race scientist. These things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Yes, I can really tell you're a prime example of superior Open design. your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe? Huh? When members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority, they stop competing for resources. 
the problem? The dam keeps on showing a real good I'm going to fight him. Same with I have people. to fight him. I can't just and stop. And the other introduced species too. They're on the precipice. Jump of ahead. Victory. Is that me hitting him? Uh-huh. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their birth place? You might end up with a new sub-race, with unknown characteristics, leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Will he hit me? Don't push your luck, Runt. Okay, bye. Fuck that guy, he sucks. How much money do I need? Oh, I'm contemplating my home. Is that the only thing? I can contemplate? Okay. If I had a bag, do I want to do that? lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Hmm. What is this? Silence. No one answers the doorbell. They pay you? <gasps> oh, no, we have that here, too. We get... We... It's only in like a few states, but I'm in one of the states <laughs> that does that. We get five cents, but they do, you pay, you like prepay. It's like added to when you pay for, like if you get like soda, there's like a, a bill, but you can return it to get the money back. I think it's mostly, I don't know, it might be in other states, but it is a big thing here. An off-key melody starts playing after you ring the doorbell. Then, a woman picks up the receiver. Okay, yeah, we do Bruno, have that. Please stop calling here. Grown-ups don't have time for your stupid game. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I thought you were... But okay. the doorbell is broken, and the bookstore shouldn't even be on the list anymore. So I can't help you. Please don't call here again. Thanks. Okay. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. You ring the doorbell, but no one answers. Just see. Is this a good idea? Andro Orlando gets your hackles up. Its very existence is a threat to your masculinity. <laughs> of your hair. For real? All you hear is static, but no one answers the call. Okay. You ring the doorbell, but nothing happens i'm trying all of it for a minute or two but all you get from the call box is silence looks like someone has melted half the plastic off with a lighter the doorbell doesn't work anymore okay you hear static from the intercom speaker it sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver but isn't saying anything yellow yes hello this is tricentennial electric Have you come to place an order? Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges huh? a look with you. Uh. It's you. Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice. It's what? a woman. And she knows you. Your heart beats faster. Whoa. No. Something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Michelle, just please. 
Michelle? <gasps> Sounds like a ghost. Wind blows through your clothes and you feel detached from your surroundings. That's my name. Inside the building, a cold memory hangs. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. <laughs> Ever since I came to work here, it's been different. As if my mind's been wiped clean. What? A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. The cold is deep under your skin, as if you were talking to someone who's a hundred years away. Somewhere inside the building, Water is flooding the cellar floor. She doesn't answer. Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. Another seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here, staring at the... I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Okay. Silence. No one's home at Fortress Accident. Nothing happens after you ring the doorbell. Silence. No one answers Empty your call. Empty card? This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Huh. This button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. Okay. I think this is where the body is, right? That's a body. Kuno's got this. I remember these kids. Oh, yeah, these kids busy, suck. Kuno. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds what? good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. The kid's on drugs? Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Kuno! Kuno's the rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! What? The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Um. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. For some Zar. Pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Pig's choking. He's totally choking. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not. I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. You have no idea what the usual is. Just ask whatever comes to mind. Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. Okay. End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. Okay. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. I don't know. Some fucking... Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis. And you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. I want to smoke the gimp. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. What? Whoa. Did they yassify a homophobic slur? Did they make a homophobic slur gayer? 
<laughs> oh my god, okay, never mind. Oh my god. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Yeah. Get lost, f Oh. Oh, there it is. There it is, okay. Okay, well, we got there. Kuno's Kuno pig? Kuno. Okay. Primal. Violent. Um. Yeah, think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno shit. You're rabid. He seems glad someone understood what he was going for. But right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! What? Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Yeah? Get out of here before the Kuno beats the shit out of you! Yeah, that's right! Drag your fat ass out of here, fat boy! Before Kuno fucks you! Ah, oh, damn. Don't listen. Just go. Okay, go. What's that? There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. What do you think you are? Fuck! The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them Ew. does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The Active decay. It took it to throw up of his own. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow! I don't think I can get... Yes? Um... What do you want to know? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean oh. polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Supernatural? It could be sexy! <laughs> I'm relieved that you agree. He is glad and okay, surprised okay, to see an okay. officer who can appreciate the less than spectacular. Oh. Do you know the feeling when you've begun filling in a crossword, but some of your answers don't quite seem to fit? That's the feeling I have right now, for some reason. It will turn into quite the puzzle yet, I'm afraid. Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. I don't know. Do anything. you want me to brief you? Yeah, brief, brief. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling and rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Um, A security okay. guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Okay. 
They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. There is a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers' Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Um. That's us, the Revachol Citizens Militia. Okay. We're the police in this city. That's right. Okay. I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. <laughs> His disdain is clear. <laughs> this man would not use such an expression Damn. otherwise. You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. Better still than an imbecilic cup of. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Okay. Was there anything else you wanted to know about? Good. I can talk to him again. Pissing match? I will love. Oh, fuck. Wait, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have made myself a little smarter, shouldn't I? Fuck. Oh, revert. I get it back. Oh, you have to save it? Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Never mind. Okay. That's okay. All around you, rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. Yeah, fuck it, we ball. Rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters, washing so pretty. the filth away. Oh wow, now I can see things. This good. The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. Looking up at the sky. Cold water dripping from I would like to be a little smaller. Grey sky like great battleships, clouds colliding with one it. another. Rain falls down on the world. Your shirt sticks How to your chest. You? The shoulders of your disco blazer grow heavy. The cold finds its way in under your skin. You shiver and Wait, did that last lady not say my name? You're not dressed for this weather. You should get an overcoat or a patrol cloak. Motherfucker. Sheets of rain over the water. A flight of stairs leading into the ocean. Wave after wave washing the coast of Martinez. With its motorboats and that is pretty hard. reeds. The ruins of a half-sunken sea fort crumble on an inlet beyond the Bay of Revachol. Go the skyscrapers of La Delta, the financial district. Faint golden light seeps from the office windows. Will you ever go there? No, you are just one of the hundreds of thousands who watch them rise across the bay from Martinez every day. Urban coastline, rain dripping off etonite covered roofs, cinder blocks left over from half finished construction, a defunct research and development building once seized by revolutionaries. An old wooden church stands on stilts above the water. And beyond. Coal city, end of all lines. Your hair is an oily mess flecked with ash from neighboring coal plants. Smoke stacks rise somewhere in the distance. Oh. Okay. There's a fleet on the corner. A plastic coat is folded into a small triangle under the counter by the window. Beyond that, the strike breakers have gathered. The great gates of the industrial harbor are locked. A chill runs down your back. You shudder like an animal trying to shake water from its hide. Behind the gates, heaps of supply crates, red and blue metal shipping containers, slick with rain. The Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor is an artificial mountain range. Immense wealth resides within, and immeasurable poverty in its shadow. And beyond La that? La Ducienne, King Dries Passenger Harbor. 
cruise ships flanked by dock arms, cranes watching over the mouth of the river distributary. Kuron, the lower middle class, distributary after distributary cuts the city blocks in half. Seven-story buildings trail off into the rain, a silvery curtain of rain over the houses, the class divide. Damn. Okay, that that's hard as hell. Capeside apartments. The class Tower divide. blocks crowd one another. 4.46 so cool. millimeter bullets still lodged in their war-torn stone walls. Hallways collapse from the mortar hits of a war that was lost long ago. Clothes lines go to waste in the rain. Radios play. A yard. Rain falls onto the roof of a woodshed. Coal leaks into a puddle beneath a dead man's feet. He swings from a tree, bloated. Droplets of rain slip from his cold cheeks. A traffic jam. Rain thrumming on the roofs of motor vehicles. Inside, drivers watch water streaming down their windshields. The statue of a king shudders. He too is cold. The canal bridge has been raised. The road ascends. A raised motorway loops above the ghetto. Hi, Strim. its concrete columns, a sea of rooftops, woodwork, and tar stretches northward. Four-story buildings as far as the rain can fall. Oh my god, I watch... In Jamrock. I, I have a disco jacket. I can sing disco. Rivershaw is the I watched Jerma play Zoom Beanies Jam last night, and it was so fun for no reason. Droplets form on your eyelashes. It's home. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? I have a brother in the cut. Where the hood at? Okay, bars. Okay. Okay, bars. Why am I not there? To be in Martinez, where no one goes, at the runoff point of a long forgotten canal in the whitest part of town, in the shadow of the day the revolution failed. Get a grip, Stand Luna. In the rain. Girl, north, get it together. Jamrock Rock City stretches inland. On a street there that flows like a muddy river in the snow, with fire Wait, traps what? rising on either side, a film rental opens its doors to the rain. An armored motor carriage rushes past the corner where you used to walk together. Suddenly, the hair on your back rises. Okay, okay, respect. You cannot return. In the rain-swept distance, above the rooftops of Jamrock, a repurposed silk mill stands perched above the motorway exit. Precinct 41 hunches in the rain. Your vision blurs. You wipe your face with your hand. The rain stings your eyes making you look up and blink. It's Coalition hero statics hang like apparitions God. under the cloud cover. Way up there, where rain forms, rotors flutter silently. Your sight clears. Mother this God. rain will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a freight to the east. They sell them there. Okay, I have to pee. I'll be right back. I just have a huge ass. I didn't, that's not like a comedy routine. I just have a big fucking huge ass.
smoking and stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. I'm horny as fuck, man. I'm a freak, man. Like, for real. Okay. Uh, how do I get the body? Is he gonna yell at me if I go back in? I'm not gonna let anyone get in my way! Real. I'm a failure. I kinda wanna go back to my room. Bed is cold and not particularly inviting. That's a bed? But it's yours. The sheets look awful. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 9 p.m. Okay. How do I get in there? Oh, is that their room? A mirror oh. hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Do things get better? I guess I... What about the fan? The fan stands still. Whatever. Wait, I just had a thought. Can I not do that again? The door is closed. Still no answer. Still nothing. The lieutenant gives you. He doesn't like where this is going. You should punch a fucking hole in it. What? No. The murmur in your ears recedes slowly. One lucky door. Okay, I'm not doing that. I just want to see. Oh? What is that? What is that? I have to get back there. Funny. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Oh my Why, god, that's so you crazy. are, officer. I'm no sweetie. You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin i'm a bitter man <laughs> i'll just say thanks you must forgive me i'm getting so scatterbrained i completely forgot to introduce myself i'm lena my husband morell and i are staying with our friend gary just down the street but i come here for tea when they're away this Lena that would be is so funny if I did that. Crew. Hire her on the spot. Hire her? Do sweeties get money? <laughs> yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused I'm by sorry. spinal cord injuries, I'm sorry. like falling from a great height, or a grenade explosion. I'm gonna turn this light off because it's like overexposing me. Maybe I'll just have this one on. That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. There is Aww. no bitterness in her voice. She. Roll with me. What do you mean? Want to roll with me? Uh. Sequence killers. Oh my. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Side mystery. I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Okay. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. Thank you, but... Martinez isn't the most wheelchair-accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. I, I love her. <laughs> Um, yes, officer. 
You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. She's she so judge you, cute. No matter what you say. Okay. Oh my. You know where we are, right? Revital. That's right. In a hostel called the Whirling in Rags, to be precise. I don't know, Dilly Squad. How would I even begin to tell you? Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. Hi, Izzy. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? That's right, dear. 51, yeah. How splendid. Okay, okay. Here, okay. take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Aww. Her relief is palpable. She was getting I think she's adorable. There, but now she relaxes her shoulders. Okay. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Some democracy. I like to think it's a dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Oh my god. Um, intelligent machines that determine the freest market. The cop regime. Um, I'm gonna oh, this sweetie. One. It's really not. There used to be people who thought that way. Other people who wanted those things, but they all went extinct. Oh. Revishol is a zone of control led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have almost no government of our own, and certainly no dictatorship of the proletariat. <laughs> I love her. Oh dear. And you were doing so well. There aren't any cops in Revishol, not in the traditional sense. The Status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. The revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. She's. I love her now. so much. She's realized you really are brain damaged. A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. Wow. This was 42 years ago. It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. I'm just a okay. poor woman, she thinks. You were doing quite well up until the end, dear. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. History and places. Oh, yes. Remembering reality so in a word. It's very odd. You're so pretty. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his note. But He's so maybe real. a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. So I, I wouldn't worry too much. She means this sincerely. Oh. Worrying won't do you any good. Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Okay. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? If she could, this woman would feed and clothe. You oh. and every other sad, lost person on this earth. You've got guns of steel and a chiseled jaw somewhere under the bloated alcohol layer. Maybe she'd like to sponsor you. You must be joking. It's not easy to assert your right to a decent living wage when you don't have a strong union behind you. Maybe you should talk to Everard, the union leader. Interesting idea. This Everard sounds powerful. Okay. Maybe you can wrangle some coins out of his pocket. Oh, hi. Your deportment remains dignified 
as you should a single man. Sweetie, I only have a few cents on me, but I, I could give you this to pawn, just to tide you over. Oh Wonderful. God. He has a pin. The pin is round and slightly tarnished. Three sailboats in bas relief with the sun hovering over the water behind. I'm so sad. I didn't want to do that so bad. Sam. Cross the plaza and follow the road along the coast. Down by the water, there will be a shack nestled against an old stone facade. That's the pawn shop. An old friend of my husband. I just guilted an old lady. He says the owner is quite helpful. I just guilted a sweet old lady. Birds nest Roy's appear in your inventory oh under the items tab. You can Thank you so quite much. Welcome, dear. I hope you're able to pawn that old trinket. Bye 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 bye. I can't. I can't. I'm so upset. I don't. I. Oh my god. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Do I have to go this way? Oh. There are clothes inside. Cheap second. Don't be shy. These are premium class clothes. Good Thank you. Fabrics, best retro design. Save the economy with your style, officer. Okay. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all. Economical. Oops. But all no good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Got some treated wool pants. You can tell they're too tight around your thighs and too loose around the waist. Oh, I didn't. I accidentally double clicked. They itch, like the itch is so bad you want to smash someone's face in. Oh. All natural materials. See, real wool, hundred percent skin friendly. You see two lowly, defeated speakers, thralls, slaves basically, perched atop them like conquerors surveying the land. A pair of found, durable wear sneakers, ultra serious. I can see you were taste for luxury, officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers. A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway. A jet black upper and a silver lined midsole. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest found sneakers. These once respectable speakers have been conquered, reduced to a mere prop by the indomitable found ultras atop them. No, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at the sneakers. The sneakers. Poor are little there. speakers. No, don't pity them, officer. These are old Samaran garbage. Don't even look at them. Okay. You see a Samaran street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. The name Sileng is embroidered over his breast pocket. Happy shopping, officer. Everything's cool here. Everything's cool. The goods are cool. The customers are cool. The place is cool. And one more thing, officer. From out on the bay, a cool wind gathers. It sweeps into the city, tugging at the textiles hanging around the stand. Some distance away, the sound of a tin can clattering across the street can be heard. You're very cool. You think I'm bang, cool? Bang, bang, bang. Oh, okay. Oh, yes! You got style. You got personal style. Thank you. What you like. You like premium menswear. Look around and browse. Everything looks cool on a guy like you. Take your time. Don't be distracted by the flattery and funny man act. Questions. Oh, 
only the coolest goods in Revashol. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. Try them on right here. No shame, only freedom. I'm an entrepreneur, officer. <laughs> Everyone's a fucking entrepreneur. Manufacturers, wholesalers, all extremely cool and above board. Good joke, officer. <laughs> Here we don't have permits. Just economic freedom. Take a look around. He's he silly. He around the decrepit buildings, the miserable weather. The sidewalk strewn with sunflower seeds and a dust choked air. It's beautiful. Beautiful freedom. That's right. Revachol is the best place for an independent self employer like myself. That's why it's so cool with all the models coming here and cool celebrities. Okay. For cool no officers. Need for discounts at ceilings, officer. Everything's already on sale. Anything you want, 50% off. Okay. Anything for you. Me? It's a boring story, officer. Who cares about the past? I'm all business now. All Revachol. Very sharp, officer. I'm Serais from the Sigai province of the Serais Empire. The apricot suzerainty, you know? The apricot suzerainty is what the Seagai archipelago is commonly known as in Revachol. It's a bit of a fraught term, I'm sure you understand. No, no, apricots come from Seagai. My grandma used to grow them. But Seagai is a shithole. That's why I came to Revachol. Here's much better for an independent entrepreneur. Less laws. <laughs> why not oh my god, we found the ANCAP guys. I sent we got found the Ayn Randian. Well, if it's for his grandma, you should buy a lot of things. No. I won't be doing that, thank you. What's that? There's a pile of cheap sunglasses. Oh. You like sunglasses, officer? Oh. The shine Wait. on these abort. These are hideous. Damn off. They're perfect for concealing your blood. No, you are definitely not buying those. Are you sure? But they look so These are all boring. Boring third rate ho hum okay. sunglasses made of cheap Sirais plastic. The kind of These are all first rate sunglasses. Premium Okay, bye. Oh, the pawn. What is this? Not take. Okay. The bus of a woman? Oh. How was I supposed to see that? You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in bright blue uniforms. All are stern and unyielding in their duty. Try to find something pretty and cool here. Win her back? Use it to win her back. Who's her? Yes. Buy something nice. I think this Who's her? Off. You shouldn't trust this guy. Big men on big horses, clad in lamella big armor, men. and carrying flintlocks, the kind that would mow down a line of enemy soldiers. Can these big men please be in the room with us right now? Franco Nigerian knight. I used to be very serious about these guys. A long, long time ago. They're not all blue. These figurines also wear gold coats and caps, complemented by orange trousers. They are variously posed. Wielding swords and rifles with bayonets. Which ones? Ah, those. Yes, they are. 
I find the paint job a bit gaudy, but children like the bright colors indiscriminately. I'm an adult and I like bright this colors. This set of so. soldiers isn't meant to look impressive. I don't like wearing them, but I like looking rifles, at them. But most of them carry pistols, some even shovels and tall sticks. You're probably talking about the revolutionaries, yes? Yes, they are soldiers, revolutionary soldiers. I think their poverty has been exaggerated for effect. When you place them next to the royalists, it doesn't seem like they could possibly win. Maybe. Maybe. He seems to have his own take on the conflict played out in perpetuity by these toys. It might be interesting to find out what it is. Everything you pick out seems faded, chipped, and sad somehow. Okay. Let's talk to him. Yellow. It's not often that I see officers from the RCM in my pawn shop. What can I do for you? His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector. Just watching the movement of light across the walls. Are you in any trouble? Oh no, not at all. Okay. I guess I haven't had many customers lately. RCM or otherwise. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, I can't believe my nail falls. That's, people that looking sucks. for a deal. People looking for a keepsake. People who are terminally bored. Wow, that's all the people in my Twitch chat. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. Oh yeah, quite it the keeps question. me entertained. Okay. Entertained? He might be high. If he is, on what? Let yeah, me yeah. have a look. Son Batiste's summer dinghy rates is 31. What a pleasant time that was. So, what do you want to know? Price? I can give you 320 for it. I promised to give it back? No, I didn't. Sure thing. So, do you want to sell anything? Anything else you're thinking of selling? I'm selling it. Sorry. I'm not purchasing any more clothing, oh. and especially that tie. It swallows photons around it. I have no need for necrotic object. Your okay. mother is a necrotic object! I'm <laughs> Look at me sparking in the light of the projector! Another time, perhaps. Okay. I doubt it, but I can try and answer any questions you may have. Hey. I do my best to keep my distance from all manner of butchery. <laughs> for business. That's Bad why? For everyone. I just have a huge ass. I didn't... That's not like a comedy routine. I just have a big fucking huge ass. No one likes to see what you have to see every day. The pawnbroker's gaze is already fixed on the dancing colors. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. I pawned it? What? Sold? The lieutenant shifts from one foot to another, alert. You uh We've came here too. That just sounded really, really bad. Well, I guess that's uh You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the Revachol citizens militia. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photon emissions. The unhealthy kind. He's not oh, telling photon. You that story. It seems he's trying to spare you. You weren't quiet yourself, officer. You were very distraught. You said the gun was a threat to your life and that you can't trust yourself with it tonight and that you need the money. When uh I said that I don't normally buy firearms, you put the gun barrel in your mouth and sort of sucked on it. Then I agreed to take it. 
jinkies. You sucked on a gun? Good. Very normal. That's hot. What? Happens to the best of us. <laughs> No apologies necessary, officer. She didn't seem like a policeman, although she kept referring to herself as a pig, which was odd. I found her interest in the gun a bit. Is this a girl I talked to? But I was just happy to get rid of it, and of her. Truth be told, she was terrifying. Right, so uh -oh. I think it is right. You sold your sidearm, issued by the citizen's militia, and now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it? Miraculously. His face does not reveal what's happening inside. My rabid fans, because I'm a superstar. You're right that she could cast aspersions on the force. We have to find out. My apologies, officer. But I have no idea where she was coming from, or where she went. A Yikes. needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. Of course. Oh shit. That's sure awesome. thing. Oh, sure, man. Okay, never mind. A typical Martinez streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Yes, officer. As you see, it's in perfect working order. The light pole has been carefully cut, and the wiring has been redone and attached to a standard indoor plug. The light buzzes faintly. It was brought to me to be altered. We are not here to investigate the theft of city property. You have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. 700 real. A bargain, I dare say. A bargain? No, it's not. He's trying to sweet talk you into buying trash. Hey, I don't know where it came from, but it's not. Okay, I don't really care. Okay, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Water. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. This hole, I have some vacant plaque. holes. This panel Sorry, usually that's disgusting. closes the water You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins. You hear a soft clunk. Then, nothing happens. Harder. Nothing happens. A cold gust oh. of wind blowing. Mm-hmm. The spring brings the lever back to sorry, its original sorry. position. You still need to close the water lock to get across the canal some other way. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday morning? Oh yeah, I did say that. Hello. Hey you officers. A burly man hangs out by the water lock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's mm. knife. Good for him. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the water lock and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. His posture is relaxed. Despite his powerful build and a knife in his hand, this man receives physical intimidation only infrequently, if at all. My friend Barry the Butcher is stuck on the other side of the water lock. I'm keeping him company and eating this salami. <laughs> From the corner w. of your eye, you Finders see a keepers. Man in a yellow shirt and grey overalls waving at you from across the canal. He seems disappointed about the wreckage on the water lock and the salami. <laughs> Good stuff. Anything I can do for you, officer? I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershell. The words okay. daredevil driver sound ominous to you. It is quite ominous. Too isn't bad it? it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Especially a water lock. The rest of 
It's supposed to operate the water lock, but as noted, it's all junk right now. Disabled because of the blockage. Safety measure. Turns out the panel needs a special key to be reactivated. Wouldn't want anyone moving the water lock with debris still in the channel. It'll be restarted on Wednesday morning. You want to do the honors when the time comes? Do I ever? Great. Just drop in on Wednesday if you want to see the water lock at work. They say the canal crew will be here at 7.15. The coast part of the map is inaccessible until the third day. Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. Sure Charming. thing. Yay! Not too, officer? Why not? Yippee! Salami! Okay. How much have I thought? I've thought quite a lot. Church. What's that? I fucked up. Cake. Okay. Is this as far as I can go over this way? Go back. But I don't think I talked to that guy. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Okay. Mm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Hmm. Life doesn't need to be a struggle. I'll be with you in a moment, officer. Let me just finish my sandwich. Talk to angry hog Rene first. Okay. Enjoy your sandwich. Have you no shame. Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. <coughs> Please. Let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? Life is soup, I am fork. I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Ball time. Grab a ball and play it. I'm gonna Don't ask what ask game. ask questions. Shoot no, first. I Ask questions. I no, ask questions. You got this. There's the ball. You're the um, game. Um, I'm observed. See? Your munching and complaining have ruined my concentration. Yeah. Ah, mon dieu. The pain in my back is unbearable. I can't even say if it's in my back or hip anymore. Feels like it's in both. I hope you pass out from it, you goddamn jellyfish. <laughs> you are the reason this nation is sinking. Shush. I ate him up. Them. They don't know what they're doing. They're old. You are letting down yourself and the team. Get in the Bro, what do you want about? Ready. Does it matter what team? Pick a team. Any team. The blue team. You're letting them down. Get in the game and throw the goddamn ball. Why are you so mean to ball, me? Dinky Winky. Sure, I'm not getting involved. I am Rene. Rene Arno. And my specially I don't ball. partner here is Gaston Martin. How can we help you? Unfortunately, I don't. And like most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. Is he is very cozy right now? The union is the law. So can you really blame them? 
cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with police. It's a pejorative. Let's go, finally. I the effort to bring order to our streets. If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man, not a coward. The daily business of the riffraff no longer... This is Disco Elise. It's like a story. This is a man with a lot of past, but little present. A crater? Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Er, I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Oh. Why what? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Commies, communists, socialists, anarchists, call them what you like. Oh, again, they're it's mentioning my chat. Special. God, they Sexless just keep bringing up my talent. chat in this game. Sadly, no. <laughs> it was the foreigners who brought them. Nah, I didn't get to shoot those commies. Valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty like they did with this suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to mm. shrapnel bombs. We didn't, so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannons simply weren't big enough. I'd bomb this place, too. <laughs> this place is a damn beachhead, son. They had to soften the commies up first. Oh. Yes, the military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Mm. He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling. A sign of mental deterioration in the preceding generations. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petonk on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got all Grenade going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. That explains all the war damage. <laughs> son, they laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. He approves of this radical approach. Knows it was necessary. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well... It's your own damn fault. You, we, the coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? Soft socialist paving the way for hard working class to take over. Um, they are not, and I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas. Boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains. Hmm. I would have preferred if they right I don't know. I'm like confused. Return <laughs> or even if that damn clan Frisell had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. Instead, all is at his job. Yeah, I don't want to hear what you wanted. Damn Frisell. He was a king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him, and the Crown. <laughs> he died in the hands of the Hyperlay, in a very public execution. A true king in both blood and mind, led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. The Suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? <sighs> they forgotten already. Soon. They will forget everything. Him too. Then he chooses anger over melancholy. 
It's that. no use talking to you. Okay, done, 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 done. Oh, I need to pop my hips for a second. She's got mad because it's time for her to eat. She's hungies. Okay. How do I get the body? Step right in. The store is open. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about the books. check. Oh, the try not to throw up. My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside minding the register or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. I'm signalling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. A sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters. She covers her face, smiling. But she's cold. Kind of you to offer, sir. Um... What could you do to help her anyway? Oh, no, no, sir. I'm happy to help Mum by luring in customers. Besides, I have some hot juice in my vacuum bottle to keep warm. I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help Mum keep this place running. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Behind her, the window has been boarded up. You sense the boards creaking, twisting for a second, and some kind of doubt in her tense shoulders. Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I okay. don't... Yeah. Okay. Please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games are there, sir. Nothing really, sir. Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around in the back rooms or the cellar. I don't really know what's there. It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I like to- Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle, too. You can guess who the criminal is, or how the good guys are going to catch him. You don't look much like a policeman. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Um... What's that mean? And everything's better now, sir? 
Yes. That's great, sir. Do I have to do what? I'm done. More I, about I don't books, wanna... maybe? It's the type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Okay. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. When everyone is poor. These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like Twilight. that. Twilight. Well, maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the okay. maybe some about other books. Oh, kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. I don't know about that, but I imagine life is great when you're famous. Yeah, dorks. Annette's expression remains ever so helpful, but she doesn't say anything. Okay. okay. Right, bye, bye, bye. Okay, I'm gonna go throw up now. There he still is, looking right through you. The Fuck. smell is repulsive. It push You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. It's okay. Happens to everyone. The hangover is clearly making these words for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. If you can handle the headache, some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. If she doesn't have any, there might be some in the frit store nearby. Acquiring okay. ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Okay. So, where was that? Oh, the gardener. Okay. I got this. I got this. It's raining again. It was clear just an hour ago. Sure. I'm Let's done. go. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a... Okay. Got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. No, no, no icky, no icky, no icky. Run, bitch. Why are you so goddamn slow? There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that cork. You crack open the ammonia <gasps> ampoule and breathe in. The odor of death is still stronger. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and in oh, Okay, good. Boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. Oh, thank you. The cargo belt used Lex Luthor, that's awesome. Above appears industrial in strength. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man Ugh. wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you, out of place somehow. Their armor, no boots. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, ceramic plate, 
Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the hill. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Piece by piece. He's been out here for seven days. It would be odd if they didn't. We should keep a look up for these pieces. The armor could yield information. Okay. Maybe he'll know something. If you wear those pieces, it will help me protect your mortal coil. What? Yes, bullets will fly. They always do. And the, the sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form. A it is. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabularies deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. For a full set, about four years of wages. As a wage, it's... I'm not saying ka baby. For a piece of hardware. Yes, that's a lot. That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbour Company. But that's just hearsay. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Suddenly, your biceps coil up. Your elbow is sharp and cocked for a punch. Your fist connects to the boot with the same ding. The sound ding. does not appear clink, to clink. get louder. Did you hear that? A click? This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally. From play to play. I don't want to pull the boots off because it's definitely going to rip him That's apart because he's decaying. See these lines? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether. Like the scales of some ancient white monk. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? The stench fills your nostrils as you push downward. Stop! Pig's gonna pull his head off. <laughs> Brutal! You're going to pull his head off. Do it, homo! Uh... Pull his head off. There's no point performing an autopsy if you do. We'll have compromised the coroner's case. What are you trying to achieve anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? Try what exactly? I don't think we should do I probably should not have done that. My bad. Besides, there's no way you're getting them off. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. They are fused to his feet now. Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? Oh. There might still be a way to peel them off. But first, the body needs to be down. And second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant wasn't around. Okay. The anticipation yeah. makes you crack your fingers. Feels okay, necessary. got it. Yeah, yeah. We'll take care of them. The cadaver slowly twists okay. on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Three feet above a sliding buckle. I prefer my feet alive. Branch. Thanks. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. Okay. Vermilion, in yellow letters, along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Only a deep longing for vermilion golden spirits lets you decipher the fading Wait, why can I only talk about drink? Brewery. Yes, it's a bad time. Yes. Industrial strength. You can use for tying cargo to lorries. Like in a circus. When the circus leaves town and they tie a black spotted giraffe. I thirst for the belt. Yes, it looks like they use whatever was on hand, paying no attention to not incriminating themselves. I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing strike. You? No. You feel 
like it was something else. But what? 70% of the cases I get are just filling in the blanks on the initial report. This belt worries me. It's not merely polyester, it's still reinforced. See these lines? This is where the wires run. I see rabbits for more than 20 strands. This makes getting him down much more problematic than I had assumed. A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt, buckle closes. It's what I would do. Seems easier than climbing up there. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt, limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small Oh, white thank star you! Tyrant for gifting us some. Gifted a tier one sub to flex underscore loose zero R. The they have given seven gift subs in the channel. His, heart. his corpse is marked by stars. Alcohol and heartbreak. <gasps> Who hurt me? Your fist clenches suddenly. It'll be marked real with disco. Is creeping on Thank you so much. Already, most of the canvas that's holding it has darkened. Now, it disintegrates slowly, letting out a stink. A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. Customized somehow. As if someone left that most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half right. So am I. What? He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. A get sunshine. Mini. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color fuck camera. Fuck y'all. These kids suck. This is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound. A shrill flash. Ugh, bro. Of a small ampoule of glass. In case we need it. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Sure. Just don't lose it. The glossy Why does he trust me? looks by. His mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper teeming with opportunistic organisms. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this That's item a girl. by going to the interact tab in your inventory. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just subaquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Underneath the curdled meat, there is an expression, not carried on his features, but below, inside, an expression of pleasure. Oh. This man was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. I'm gone. What? Into the wild pile yonder. What? In the past. Way out. What the west. fuck? I didn't realize we were going here, but we're going here. I'm a joke. Look at me. There is nothing funny about jokes either. A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. Damn. Takes one to no one. Go ahead, Kobo. What do you mean? Talking it's to you. the power of your... Ugh. You mad 
imagination. Oh. Yeah, man! Don't be crazy! <laughs> Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. Okay. He loves those. Why do I love them? You're a copperoony. Real. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Yes. Here you go, you loony. Fuck no. You're no Rooney. Okay. Between you and me, your name is probably Nah, I can't. Harry. I can't. Good for you. Okay. Because you have. I hate you. You stink in your. Do I born. remind you of someone? Um, Arlequinism. Okay. You sure we got out of that one? Coppellini. Yeah. Maybe I was getting my rocks off. Oh, ew. Do I look like an erotic auto asphyxiation type to you? Yes. Captain Coppadromo. I fear we are drifting away. Fixating on sexuality again. Let's go with a simpler question. Okay. Come back later, Coppo. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. How should I know why you are squinting, officer? Pink. Oh. <laughs> you are trying to assess lividity. What? The monster comes back into focus, an explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So what do you think? I think he's dead. The pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck are you saying? <sighs> Talking about shit. <laughs> yeah. Malicious laughter erupts in the yard. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Big head is a. <laughs> the yeah, I am. Face is made of stone. I think I he's agree. dead. I there agree. are crow's feet in his eyes. He's laughing <laughs> silently. Totally dead. Dead, 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 dead. This buster's not coming back. Sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> I think, think he was upright immediately after death. Blood has gathered in his hands and feet, and his neck. The noose acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis mm. here is in tune with the hanging. That's what I think. There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little sport. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. Okay. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. That's so Are you sure nasty. we finish the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. Of course. You have questions. Come back later, Corpo. Hmm. The okay. steel reinforced belt presents a I thought she character. said coin slot at first. Critters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting it. Climb up there and saw the branch? I don't trust that ladder. 
The assailants didn't use it. It's rotten and less sturdy than it Damn. looks. And I don't see another good way up there. Honestly, I prefer a non-acrobatic solution to this. Oh, now I have more stuff. I could probably use more logic. I just have one? Okay, I'll accept that. There has to be a less risky way. Someone else? You mean like the police? Someone like a paid garbage man or a cleaning crew? I have bad news for you. That is a detective. I know it's hard, but I assure you the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We need to get him down. Hi, KP. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. Confirmed. It's unsafe. But what other options? The corpse twists on the belt, like chicken on a skewer. Yeah! Bang bang time, pig! Shoot his head off! How? Yes, the buckle, where it ties the cargo belt to the tree. If the shot hits that, then there might be a small chance to release the belt. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain a Kuno with some shit. They'll miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. The lieutenant is undecided. On one hand, he wants to shoot some gun. On the other, it's an awfully stupid idea. Um. Silence. With his elbow sharp. And produces oh. a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in oh. the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. He then steps back and assumes the fellow's stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. He's gonna fucking me! The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. God damn it. He feels bad damn. about it. About his eyes, mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Probably from a young age. Fucking idiot! Look at that asshole! Okay. Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped, is he? It's okay. Kuno's study too. K the lieutenant doesn't say a word. Just looks at the gun in his hand. I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Um. We are not getting him down already. Not getting him down is a task that's already accomplished. Sadly. How do you plan to get him down then? With social sensibility? It's bad as it is. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. <laughs> I only have one gun. Yeah, this you can translate. I'm doing it. The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shoot himself in the mouth! Kuno is silent. The buckle comes into focus in your sights. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? At least you won't miss. Oh! Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves. Look, he's crying. For what? You're gonna fuck me? You wanna fuck me, pig? Is that what this is about? Fuck. <gasps> A plume of smoke erupts from the barrel. Your hand goes numb from the explosion. With your ears still ringing, you lower the weapon to see what happened. You missed the belt but hit the corpse straight in the chest. Bits of ribcage protrude from the skin. I should not have no done blood. that. Only a murky sludge dripping down his belly. Oh my God, he's gonna fucking cry, I knew it! What a mulco! You're sensitive. It feels dry. 
Nothing comes out of you as you stretch and bend your f The lieutenant watches you jerk some tears, your shoulders shaking and your eyes dry. The gun begins to slip. Malota! The f can't even cry! The lieutenant gently picks his gun from your hand. We still need to get him down some the bad way. The way I didn't want us to. From the gates, by negotiating or fighting. I'm unenthusiastic about fighting. Or we can try to find some secret third path. It's an ugly door. To the gates. Let's fight, I say. To ask the suspect for help with the victim's body? To be indebted to Evrard Claire? Very much, yes. Which is why I would have preferred us to handle this ourselves. Clearly we can't. Suck my dick, bitches! He's a dangerous and corrupt man, and we cannot predict what he will want from us in return. Um... Yeah? Don't go being someone else's bitches. You're Kuno's bitches. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm tired, so I think I'm gonna save there. But I'm actually having way more fun this time than I was the other time I was playing. So I will definitely be playing again. Fucking Kuno's bitches. So, yeah. I'll be playing again someday. Um. Um. Peachy! Peachy, peachy, peachy. Let's raid. Let's raid Tina. Okay. What? Oh, is she not live anymore? She probably just went offline. Wait, no? Oh, no, she's live. Okay. Go hang out with Tina. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you for hanging. Goodbye. Goodbye.